Hey you guys, Dana Cole here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on today and let you guys know about my latest Photoshop action that I just released called Natural Pop. So Natural Pop is just going to enhance your colors of your image. It's going to give you a little bit more contrast, a little bit more uh, lighting, a little bit more pop. It's not going to play with the overall colors of the image too much. Um, so I feel this is like a good Photoshop action to use when you just want to add a little bit of pop to your images. So uh, in this, today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how you can apply this action um, to your images. So let's go on over to Photoshop. All right, so I have this image here. This image has been skin reach touched already, um, but no color grading done to it. So that's what we are going to use the natural pop for now. Um, so to apply an action, it, you will find it in your actions panel here. And we're gonna go over to natural pop. Now in natural pop, I have provided three different actions within the natural pop action set. So one of these will definitely fit um, your image. I have made them so they work on fair skin, medium skin and dark skin. So one of these will definitely work for your images. One or all of them will work for your particular image that you apply it to. So I'm just gonna actually first toggle through each one so you can see what each looks like. So this is natural pop one. I'm just going to go ahead and um, press play on that. Um, and this is what natural pop one looks like. So this was the before and this is the after. So for this image, natural pop uh, one looks pretty good, maybe a little bit bright. Um, so I will show you how you can um, uh, change these a little bit if you need to. So for this one, like I said, it looks a little bright. So maybe just the curves layer at the top, which is an extra layer if you need a little bit more brightness or not. So um, if I took that one off, then I think the image looks fine now or maybe a little bit too dark. So you can add this back on again and then just go up to your opacity here and you can just tone it down a little bit if you want to using it that way. Um, and then of course you can go through each of these and see what they do. If you want to change something on either of these, just click the actual adjustment layer here and it should pop up wherever your adjustment uh, box pops up. And then you can just go ahead and make any changes to each uh, particular layer that you would like to make a change to. If you did something a little bit too much, um, and you don't remember what the actual version of this was, you can come down to here and press that. And it will just take it back to where it started uh, in the original action set, okay? So it's very easy to um, change these depending on what you need, um, or if it's perfectly fine and there's no need to change it, then you're, you're good to go. Um, you can also change the entire set itself without having to go through each one. Um, so if you like everything here, but you just want to take the, um, take it down just a little bit, you can just go up here to opacity again and just take it down here. And this is going to affect all of the layers and not just the individual layers. So this is how you can take it down overall if you like what you see and you just want to take it down a little bit. Okay, so that's Natural Pop um, 1. I am going to show you the other one. So let's go ahead and delete that one. Uh, this is Natural Pop 2. Okay, so this is what Natural Pop 2 looks like for this particular image. Um, now this image natural pop 2 has a little bit more reds um, So that one is probably not going to work for this particular type of image, but another one it could be perfectly fine um, And here I know it's due to this curves layer here. So if I turn that off I'm not getting so much reds for this particular image um, But I probably wouldn't use this one for this image because the other one looked good. So that's natural pop um, 2 
Okay. So I'm going to delete that one and show you guys the last one, which is Natural Pop 3. And that's what Natural Pop 3 looks like. So I actually like Natural Pop 3 the best of uh, for this particular set of images. Um, natural Pop 3 looks the most natural. Um, and it's just kind of what I ended up with in the images I'm using from this set. So yeah, that's what it looks like on this image. Let's switch it over to a um, darker skinned model so you can see what it looks like on darker skin as well. Um, so let's go over to Natural Pop 1. We're gonna press play. Yeah. So this is what it looks like on a darker skin model. Um, as you can see, it's just giving her skin that glowy pop, which she already had naturally. This is just enhancing it. Um, and I love the way this looks. So that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions about this particular action set or applying actions, um, definitely you can leave me a comment below or you can email me. Um, and I will be sure to answer your questions. Oh, and also, if you um, use any of my backdrops, use anything from my Etsy store and you're in my Facebook group, definitely post your images because you guys know I love to see your images um, of you working with my products and how you use them. And I just love to see your creativity. Um, and yeah, that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.